everyone. Hi and welcome back. Hi and welcome if you're new here. My name is Deborah. I am a 20-something year old living in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I make lifestyle living alone diaries content here on YouTube, essentially showcasing my life as a single woman working a full-time 9-to-5 job and navigating life in my 20s. I hope you stick around for vlogs, showcasing my daily life, work weeks, productivity, and lots more. To another work week in my life vlog um so today is actually monday january 1st so happy new year i'm super excited for 2024 and just like the start of the new year and all of that jazz but anyway i just got back home from uh visiting my family over over the um over New Year or like New Year's Eve and all of that jazz. I was there for a couple of days but I just got back home and so now I'm just doing a little bit of, I'm gonna do laundry. I'm actually gonna take my take a shower first and then do laundry but somehow over the last couple of days in between like I guess the travel, I lost my key fob that would let me into the garage, the underground parking which could then let me up into my apartment building. I somehow lost that key fob. So I am without a key fob and I thought I would have to call like whomever is on site to get someone to come open the door for me. But I didn't want to do that because that comes with like a cost. However, I just stood outside like the front of the building and some people were coming out and I was just like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I just kind of snuck in. And it was just probably the sketchiest looking thing ever, but girl, like December was a lot of billings. I don't want to start January off with more billings, but which I will anyway, but cause I need to pay to get the fob replaced, but I'll have to do that tomorrow. So I'm pretty much stuck in my apartment until I get a new fob, but that's all fine and dandy. Um, so it's almost 5 PM right now. I'm just going to take a shower and just take some time to unpack and put away food my mom made 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 my brother and I some food she's so sweet she's just such a sweetheart sweetheart so I'm going to um, create some room in the fridge for that I still have so much food so much leftovers from Christmas that I'm working my way through but yeah we'll see anyway that's kind of about it um so work officially starts january 2nd but i did take tomorrow off i have tomorrow off but i might just log in real quick because i need to do some things um and then i'm back into work uh on wednesday so yeah should be good but i'm super stoked i can't believe it's 2024 and it's the first day and i don't know i'm just so grateful and thankful for you know what 2023 was and i feel like 2024 is just going to be such a big year for myself for my friends and for my family i'm praying for and praying that you know all of us get our hearts desires this year and you know all of our all of the blessings that we've been praying for come our way and that's what i wish for myself and my loved ones and also for all of y'all um, watching, I hope whatever it is that you've got your heart set on, you are able to get it this year. Um, 
because we're all winners but i'm super stoked for what the year is gonna bring and yeah i'm just kind of ready to kind of get into it but for now i'm going to um put stuff away rest up and just kind of have a quiet evening and then tomorrow we will kind of regroup for the rest of the week so yeah It is January 2nd, um, like I said, I'm not working today, but I am starting off with a cup of coffee and I've been using like, like my first coffee, for, actually this is my first coffee of the year, let me go, but I've been using like eggnog, like the egg, oat nog, um, as like my creamer or milk or whatever of choice and it's been good, it's like, this is my first time trying eggnog but maybe i should try like the real thing next time but this oak nog is pretty good too right now though i'm just gonna take some time to i want to prep some veggies i've got some carrots i've got like a withered onion <laughs> and some cabbage i'm just going to just take some time to just cut them up i'm going to roast the carrots and the onions and some green beans in the um oven it's just I just want to have them as sides um, with my with my meals throughout the week. One of my things, one of the things that I want to be doing better this year as the kind of person that, you know, um, cares about their health, is very mindful about what she eats. I want to incorporate like veggies in my diet every day, like in my meals every day. Um, <clears throat> So, uh, and that's kind of a difficult thing for me personally to do because I didn't grow up eating a lot of vegetables and I don't really like vegetables. Fruit, I can like still sort of, you know, stomach, but veggies for some reason has just always been more difficult for me. And so I always prefer to drink my vegetables than eat them. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna do that. It's almost 9 a.m. right now. But at this time, I'd be like coming back from the gym or something. But because I lost my key fob, I really have no way of getting back into the building. If I leave, I haven't. I've decided to just kind of chill um, until I get a new fob. So I'm going to call the property managers once it's nine, which I think is when they kind of uh, open up shop and see if I can get a new fob like today. And then I will head to the gym. But um i have i actually did start off my day with a little bit of work there was something that i needed to send off and then i am enrolled in a course that starts today so i just went and did like introductions and all of that and then i already have assignments so i'm going to be spending some time today 
working through those assignments but yeah that's where we're at right now i'm just gonna go ahead and prep these veggies put them in the oven and um i'm just gonna let that do its thing and yeah things that I picked up from Sephora because uh, for my birthday I got gift cards to Sephora and so with those gift cards I picked up some stuff in store and I also picked up some stuff online which I'm hoping will be delivered um, this week so I can share it in the vlog otherwise I will share it in another vlog but I picked up three things from Sephora and I'm super excited about these things so the first thing I got is this Sephora brand makeup setting spray it's their 16 hour wear um, transfer proof sweat and humidity resistant sprays I haven't had like a setting spray in a long time and honestly I kind of miss it and I hope this really works out because it like after like several hours my skin gets like super duper oily so um, and then the next thing that I've got here is the positive light lipid luminizer um, by Rare Beauty in the shade Outshine. This is the exterior packaging and that's what it's called. So this is really just a highlighter and it's really just this like light gold color. Obviously I haven't tried it yet but um, I'll try it tomorrow when I wear my makeup. Um, I have never ever used a liquid highlighter before so We'll see, we'll see what this is saying. And then finally, I picked up an eye cream by The Inky List. This is the Caffeine Eye Cream. Um, I don't think I have tired eyes, but an eye cream is always good to have in one skincare regimen. And you're supposed to use this in the morning and in the evening, but I think I will stick to using this at night only. But this is the tub looks like it's just a little tube so i think a, long, a little goes a long way that's all i got from sephora so i'm gonna chill for the rest of the evening i'll journal just have some quiet time and i really want to go to bed early today i'm not going to the gym tomorrow i'm taking tomorrow off of the gym but i think i'll probably do like a little workout later in the day like in the evening or something just kind of wind down um but yeah so Oh, I'll see you later. So, good morning. Hi. It is Wednesday. I'm getting ready to go to work, but I wanted to just come on camera real quick because I'm trying out this liquid highlighter from Rare Beauty and I feel like I've kind of already messed it up because I have set my under eye concealer and I feel like it should probably be layered over top, like below powdered product. So I'm just going to see what happens when I... It looks crazy right now, but... Give me a moment. Guys, this is <laughs> this is not it. <laughs> um 
Are there like instructions? I feel like a newbie. I think I managed to sort of like blend it in a bit so it's not crazy looking, but I don't know. I don't think I like it very much, but I think tomorrow I'll give it another shot just before powder with all my liquid products and see how it goes because this is just not uh, this is not given what I thought it was going to give head to bed but I thought I would finally share the items that I picked up from Fashion Nova I was gonna do a try on but your girl's a bit lazy so we'll put a pin in that plan um but the first thing I've got here so I picked up a few items from them because I think they were having like some kind of big sale so I was able to pick up a few items um the first thing I've got here is this mustard colored blazer um the light in my bedroom is a bit orangey, so this probably comes up a lot more orange uh, than it actually is in person, but it's just like a cropped, like three-quarter sleeve, three-quarter length sleeve um, blazer, and it's got like scrunched arms and all of that, so uh, I don't have a lot of blazers, and I think blazers are just a way to, they give you like a nice way to zhuzh up an outfit without you needing to do much, okay? Next thing I got here is this cropped sweater and it's this baby blue, powder blue color. Um, the material feels kind of like a towel. That's like the best way I can describe it. And it just feels like it's going to be super comfortable. So I'm excited to wear this. And then another sweater that I got here um, is of the same like towel material, but this one's got a few colors going on um, down. So it's got gray, a lime green and like a taupe and cream cream going horizontally uh, across the sweat sweater and it's kind of long kind of oversized I picked this up in a small but it's still kind of oversized oh and then this was also a small the blazer was a medium next thing I've got here is a pair of pants so I actually have something similar to this already it's actually the similar to the pants that I wore today to work. That was also from Fashion Nova. But the difference is this has got like this faux um, button closure in front. But the reason I like it is because is that it's got this like slit right right down the length of it in front and it's very wide-legged and it's just it's very it's high-waisted and it just kind of cinches you up in the waist and i think it looks really good and the next item i've got here is this denim skirt so it's kind of like a distressed um dark wash gray denim skirt and it's asymmetrical so this uh bit is a bit longer than this side uh, I got this, oh, I got the pants in a size, in a size small, and I got the skirt in 
a size small as well. It fits very well along the hips, but the waist is a little too big for me. So I think I'm going to, I'm definitely going to get it altered so it fits my waist a lot better. But I already have like style ideas for how I want to wear this. I think once this warms up a little bit over the next couple of months, this will look totally killer with a pair of long boots. So. Next thing I've got is just a simple cardigan, um, just a gray cardigan button down, nothing crazy. You can wear this as a sweater or you can wear it open as a cardigan with something underneath. And this was also in a size small. And the last thing I've got here is an outerwear. So it's like this kind of like fuzzy full fur um, jacket and it's in this cream color. It's got a zipper down the middle but it's also got like snap closures and I picked this one up in a large I feel like I should have probably gotten an extra large because I think it's kind of snug in the arms especially if I layer it up with like a sweater or something but um still kind of nice but yeah those are all the items that I picked up I'm going to hop in bed now because it's like 8 17 and one of my resolutions for the new year is to try and go to bed a lot earlier to like be in bed by like 8 45 and like be ready to sleep but I still have to journal read my books and do a few more things so it might be closer to 9 or 9 30 but yeah that is pretty much all I've got to share So I'm getting ready for work and I'm doing my makeup and I decided to give the Rare Beauty, Rare Beauty Positive Light Liquid Luminizer a shot again and this time just use it with all my liquid stuff and I applied it with a brush. What do we think? I still feel like on camera it doesn't look that bad but in person it still just kind of looks a bit splotchy. I'm just not confident with the way it looks on my skin. So I think we might return this. Apply powder, see how it wears, and then decide if I want to return it or not. So this is what it looks like with powder on. Honestly, I don't think it looks good. So yeah, I'm sorry. It just does not give what I thought it would give. So I'm just gonna stick to pressed powder highlighters. I'm gonna return this and exchange it for something I know works because I still feel like I need to go over top with it just looks dry you know and I cannot not use powder right anyway that's my spiel for now I think I'll go to Sephora after work today and do like an exchange and yeah okay so this is the fit of the day I'm wearing the sweater that I got from uh, Fashion Nova just and just some blue jeans from ASOS and I've got these Kind of cognac colored, I can't see it, 
Cognac colored boots from College Spring. So yeah, see ya. Hello, hello people. Hi. So it is evening. I got off work at like three today because I skipped my lunch. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna leave at three and not four. So um, I used that opportunity to go to the mall and exchange that liquid highlighter for like a proper pressed highlighter which i will show you guys right now and then i've been home i've been editing reading and just kind of puttering around um but i do have some things that i wanted to share some um ordered some stuff off of amazon and the rest of my order from sephora finally got delivered so come come with me okay i'm gonna start with amazon because i got three things from them and they're pretty straightforward things i got a re-up on this moisturizer this is like my daytime moisturizer this is by a k beauty brand i think um Pyong, Pyong Yong. but it's their common moisture barrier cream it felt good didn't feel greasy or anything weird like that and it's pretty cheap too and then the next thing i've got is a book it's the art of seduction by robert green i really like robert green i have read so far two of his books um the laws of human nature and the laws of mastery and i really just like um how he is as a writer and like a storyteller too and then the final thing that i picked up from amazon actually got delivered maybe like 30 minutes ago and i'm surprised by this because i ordered a bathrobe yeah and the picture online like the cover picture or whatever was like a khaki color like a light brown neutral color and so that's what i thought i was getting but then i went back to <laughs> but then when i opened the package this is this is what i got <laughs> black i would never buy a black robe it's either going to i was going to go for a white or um a khaki but I'm gonna keep it um because for the price i paid which i think was under 30 dollars it, it's like really good quality it's like this um waffle knit texture and it just feels like nice and thick so although the color is not what i was expecting i am gonna be keeping this and i am actually excited to get some use out of this and then from sephora so i exchanged the liquid highlighter for the positive light silky touch highlighter in exhilarate this is the box it comes in so that's what it looks like and it's 2.8 grams less than an ounce for 34 dollars but it feels really like soft actually like and that's what it looks like on my skin so like really luminous oh my god you can't really see but and I think that's good because I don't want anything too crazy. But I'm, I am going out tomorrow night and I, I'll test this out and let you guys know what I think. If I'm, I'm probably gonna, if, if I end up returning it, I'll let you know and if I switch it out for something else. So I picked up an eyeshadow palette. Um, this one's from Morphe. It's a 35TE Tease the Season palette. Um, I didn't realize it was like a season type. Probably limited edition. Anyway, it's their artistry palette, and I think it's got 35 shades. Morphe, you all remember when like Morphe was like the it girl of makeup? Oh, the packaging is actually really nice. Like, look at this. Oh, look at all these shades, but look at this purple right here. Oh my god. And look at this gold. All right, Morphe. But I'm super excited to play with this. And then the last two things I picked up from Sephora are um, lipsticks. So I got the Sephora brand lipstick. This is in the shade Love Letter. It is like really a very dark pink. And the last but not the least thing here is um, from Fenty Beauty. I got the Fenty Beauty Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid lipstick and i think this one is in hbic which what does hbic stand for can y'all let me know in the comment section but oh girl riri came through with that packaging look at that 
Oh my god. It's like a nice deep red. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun with this. Anyway, so that is everything that I have to share for now. Hello. Um, the lab appointment went a lot quicker than I thought it would go, so I just need to pick something up, and then I have to go back and drop it. So, um, but on my way from the appointment, I did stop at Deville, and I picked up a uh, cappuccino with oat milk, and so I'm treating myself to outside coffee. I have realized that. I am realizing though that in the last couple of weeks, I have spent too much money on outside coffee. So. Starting from now, <laughs> I am going to reel it back in and make my own coffees from home. I think I'm reaching a point with coffee where it's like, I don't know, I'm getting kind of bored with it. As much as I hate to say it, I love, not do I, I love like the way coffee tastes, but I also like having something to drink. But I don't know, I think it's just, I just need to find a way to make my coffees at home more interesting. So yeah, we'll see about that. And I think I want to like, maybe explore going off of coffee um, for a bit. I don't think like, I'm not addicted to coffee. I can, I'm not the kind of person that needs a coffee to wake up or that needs caffeine to wake up and feel alive. No, I function pretty well without coffee. I can go without coffee, but there's just something about, coffee is nice, I like coffee. And so I don't, I don't think I have a problem with it and thus I don't feel like I need to wean myself off of it. But sometimes it is nice to kind of take a break and maybe that's what's going on. I'm kind of bored with like doing the same whole, doing the same whole like coffee making process at home. And so, yeah, so I might, I might take a break from coffee, who knows. I thought, I'm pretty sure that's something you never would have thought I would say. Like, I feel like part of my whole aesthetic is like my coffee making my videos. But anyway, um, I'm already logged on to work um, and I'm just gonna get to it. But I just wanted to hop on here and say I'm back home. Hey y'all, so um, 
it is much later and i'm all ready for dinner i'm actually running late but look at me i'm here talking so i just actually just wanted to say hey um so doing a quick outfit of the night my blouse and leather pants are both from Ravens, and i bought my boots on from college spring and my purse from college spring but yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna run now because i am running late but thank you all so much for watching this vlog i hope you've enjoyed watching and i will of course see y'all next time in another video bye oh and i'm wearing the lipstick that i got from sephora the sephora brand one and the highlighter that i picked up from rare beauty actually does work i think it looks good so i'm happy but yeah oh also got my nails done <laughs> anyway bye Okay, so y'all will never believe this. So I actually got to the place kind of on time, but parking was a bitch. I think I spent, I went round and round trying to look for parking. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna come back home, drop off my vehicle, and take an Uber like I should have in the first place. So my Uber is almost here. Um, so I'm going to just keep it simple, take an Uber. But I decided to change my shoes, and now I'm going with loafers instead of the boots the boots just looked weird with like the cut of the pants so i feel a lot more confident with loafers so yeah that's my little update okay bye now for real